Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will explain how to use the Keep in Touch birthday event. The birthday event is a special preloaded event with options specifically designed to mark contacts' birthdays. A birthday is a great opportunity to stay in touch with your important contacts on a regular basis. The first step in setting up the birthday event is to set the default settings that you would like to use for the event. While these settings can be overridden for a specific contact, the global event saves you time by allowing you to preset those options that you will use most of the time. To set up your default birthday event settings, start by clicking Keep in Touch in the main menu, and the birthday event is listed second in the top list. Click the birthday link to configure the event. The event includes two options. If you simply wish to acknowledge most of your contact's birthdays with an email or phone call, you can simply add the birthday to your calendar with a reminder. If you would like to further acknowledge your contact's birthdays with a mail, card, or a gift, you can also create a task in your task list to be completed a selected number of days prior to the birthday. You can also set things up to receive a reminder a specified number of days prior to the due date at a time of your choosing. You also have the option to automatically assign new contacts with a birthday to the birthday event. If you already have contacts in your database with a birth date and you wish to activate the birthday, the birthday events with your selected defaults, then check the additional checkbox that appears below. Once you have set up your birthday default birthday event settings, click Save at the top of the page. To set up the birthday event for a specific contact, specific contact, you first need to enter the contact's birth date. Open the contact record from the contact list, click Edit Contact, scroll down to the Personal Details section of the page, click the plus sign to expand it if it's closed, and you can enter the birth dates. You can enter the birth date for either the main contact and or the spouse partner. Note that when entering birth dates, the year is always optional and you can activate the event without having to enter the year. I'm gonna enter the main contact's birthday. Note that if you set the global birthday event to be automatically activated for contacts with a birthday, then the applicable events will automatically be activated for the contact upon saving and you do not need to do anything else. If you have not set the global birthday event auto assign option, you will need to go to the contacts keep in touch tab to activate the birthday event or events for the contact. A contact's birthday events are always listed at the top of the section labeled keep in touch events specific to this contact. At the contact level, there are separate events for the main contact and the spouse partner. To activate either event, Using the event default settings, you set up for the global birthday event, simply click the activate button in the list. Note that the event is only enabled if the applicable birth date is entered for the contact. If you wish to use settings other than the default global event settings, you need to open the event by clicking the ev applicable event name in the list, make the desired changes, and click save. Upon saving, the event is automatically activated and the birth date now appears under the date column. If for any reason you wish to stop acknowledging a contact's birthday and remove any activities related to the contact's birthday, simply click the deactivate button in the list. You now know how to use the birthday keep in touch event in exact contact to help you acknowledge important contact birthdays, a great way to stay in touch with important contacts and help ensure their continued loyalty.